school community still in shock, grieving the loss of one of their own students now scared for their safety. Tonight, parents and officials searching for answers. Good evening. It is the question parents, board officials, and local politicians were trying to answer tonight. How best to support students and staff as they navigate the horrific reality that a young man was murdered inside their school, a fellow student in grade 9 accused of pulling the trigger. Let's go live to CTV's Mike Walker, who's outside David and Mary Thompson Collegiate tonight. Mike. Well, Zoraida, the healing is going to take a long time, but with the gradual return of to school starting tomorrow, the focus of this meeting was ensuring that resources continue to be available to staff and students and that they feel comfortable and confident about returning to this high school in the wake of this tragedy. On the eve of when teachers and students can return to David and Mary Thompson Collegiate, the parent council, school administrators and elected officials met tonight to have a very difficult conversation in the wake of Monday's shooting that claimed the life of 18-year-old Jaheem Robinson. Raj Thanaraj is the president of the parent council. His daughter is in grade 10. Well, we just talk about uh, uh, how to cope with our kids, how to bring them back uh, with the to, to give support to them, uh, emotional and those kind of things. Scarborough Gilwood MPP Mitzi Hunter and Deputy Mayor Michael Thompson both attending tonight's meeting. They say much of the conversation was about ensuring students continue to be supported and feel safe. How do we make uh, the setting in school safe for, for teachers and for school staff and for all of the students uh, that need to be welcomed back? Together as a community, we have to work to strengthen and um, use our resolve to, um, you know, to ensure that this does not define us as a community and as a school. Jaheem was fatally shot from behind around 3 p.m. Monday, just minutes after the final bell. Toronto police have charged a 14-year-old boy with first-degree murder and attempted murder for allegedly trying to shoot at another student, but the gun jammed. It's very sad. It's, it's very sad that uh, how this 14-year-old uh, 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 person got the uh, got this gun into his hand. Jaheem is being remembered for his positive attitude and being an inspiration to his teachers and classmates. The grade 12 student loved the culinary program, drama class, and the peer leadership program. In a letter sent to the school community, the principal writes, Jaheem was a constant source of support to his friends at school. He was dependable, sympathetic, and always available to talk to those who needed him. And no one could lighten the mood with a joke like Jaheem. Words cannot express how deeply we will miss his presence at our school. Today, grief counselors remained available for staff and students at a nearby community centre and online. Tomorrow, classes will remain online, but the school will reopen for staff to gather in the morning and for students after 12.30. The TDSB says that support for staff and students will continue to be available as long as it's needed. So again, students will have the option to come to the high school tomorrow for those support services. School officials say in the days and weeks ahead, they'll explore opportunities to honor Jaheem Robinson's memory. Reporting live, I'm Mike Walker. Zoraida, back to you.